Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior! Since last time, I level grinded up to level 11. Oh, it gets worse, trust me on that one. We're gonna be doing some level grinding in probably about 30 seconds, so... Let me show you my stats here. Look at my defense power. I got a 27 there. Notice my gold. I have over 3,000 gold. Now you wanna talk to this guy. And we want to buy the full plate armor. And trade in our leather armor. Okay, now check out my stats now. Yeah, 47! We're going to be... We're so powerful right now. We can easily take on these guys outside now. Okay, so I'm just going to show off a couple battles here. And then I want to level grind up to level 13 right now. Yeah, only two damage. Alright. And this should not take long at all. I mean, maybe... 15 minutes at most. Yeah, the wolf's only doing six damage now. So, the reason I wanted to get the full plate armor is not just for the defense, but... Well, it is, but since the enemies are doing a lot less damage, we can stay out here and grind for longer times instead of having to go to the end. So, alright, after this battle, I'm gonna... Come on, kill him. Alright. Okay. So, I'm gonna take care of the level grinding. I'm gonna get up to level 13 here. And I'll take care of that, and I'll be right back. Alright, we finished up all the level grinding I wanted to do, and look at my gold. I want to have around 12,000 before the next upgrade of equipment. Anyways, I forgot to mention that at level 10, we learned the stop spell. You can learn, I mean, you can use stop on the wizards. That'll literally stop them from casting spells, so that can be pretty useful. Outside does what you think it does. If you're in a cave and you cast it, well, you'll warp right outside it. In return, it'll warp you back to Tanticle. So, alright, let's uh, head on out of here. And I don't recommend buying the magic armor here. I think it's like 7,777. 7, totally not worth it. We'll be getting better equipment in the future with our money. And the, <clears throat> the level grinding took me about 12 minutes with fast forwarding. So not bad at all. Let's uh, head down now. And there's new monsters over here. Once you cross from that rock up there, there's new monsters. So, Like these guys. Gotta be careful with these guys. But I'm level 13 and they're only doing 2 damage to me. That's why I wanted to get up to level 13. Yeah, and look at the gold they're giving me. Almost 200 a crack. And here's another new enemy, Wolf Wolflord. Yeah, he can cast Stop Spell on us, but we're not using the Hurt Spell anymore because, well, it's basically useless. Hey, what are those stairs there? And here's another new enemy, a Wraith. These guys are pretty easy. Yeah, they can heal themselves, which you don't have to worry about that. Alright. Let's head in here. No? Huh? Some, uh, wizard. Okay. Alright. Yeah, okay. So what we gotta do, I'm gonna use a... Uh, before heading back to Tanticle, I'm gonna use a Wings. But you wanna make sure you have at least four or five magic keys. If you don't have them, go buy them. Alright, well, let's head in here. Cause I wanna use the magic keys to open up some doors. And everybody says the same thing here. And yeah, I'll show this one off. Let's check what's in here. Yeah, six gold. Another six gold. Wow, we're getting a lot of gold here. And nine. That's great. That's really worth uh, 55 gold for the key. 
Let's open up this other door. Oops. There we go. Hey. Okay. Huh. Alright. Yeah, okay, so let's see how much this does. I have 51 HP, you walk on this, and it deals damage. So what is that? 15 damage? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll be uh, sure to do that. You want to cast heal here. Do, do not take a chance on these tiles. You do not want to die. Yeah, I'm good. Alright, let's talk to this guy over here. Yeah, alright. Okay, and now right up here... You can talk to this guy, and he will sell you magic keys, but they're for 85 gold. But gold's really not that important to us anymore. We're gonna be getting a ton of it soon enough. Alright, I got my original six. Talk to this girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember uh, Airdrick was making rainbows or something? Yeah, you just go down here. Yeah, and they don't expect you to know how to get here. You'd think you'd walk out into the world map, but you don't. Let's talk to this guy here. Sure. Yeah, and that red's really annoying me. I gotta get out of that. There we go. Yes, we get the Stones of Sunlight. Alright, just leave here. I'm gonna walk back in here. and Yeah, I might as well keep this on screen. I'm gonna just rest up at the end. Or use this guy to abuse it. But yeah, once we're level 13, that's why I highly recommend you get there. We're gonna be so powerful, it's unbelievable. Are we at max? Yeah, we're at max, alright. Yeah, and look at our MP, we have 60 now. Alright, let's head on out of here. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna meet you back at Garenham, it's to the northwest. So yeah, I'll meet you over there. Okay, we're back. We made it to Garenham here. And, yeah, let's use one of our magic keys on this door here. Let's talk to some people around here. Erdrick's armor, huh? That's eh, probably just some garbage piece of gear. I wouldn't worry about it. And there's a place called the Hawk's Nest. Huh, alright. Alright. Yeah, what he means is, I think he means about the caves. Where you should make a map of your sense. Because back then, they didn't have maps. Unless you had, uh, Nintendo Power, I believe. But that was ages ago. Huh? Okay, jeez. Take it easy. Use a key on this door and... Hey. Okay. Oh, alright. <laughs> Yeah, they just send you back and forth to each other. Now, I believe somebody in another town said to push up against the wall in the last town. Yeah, and there's a little secret opening over here. Talk to this guy here. Oh, okay. And let's go in here. I probably won't finish this whole place right here. This is Garen's grave. You want to use Radiant? Radiant Historia? No. That's a uh, different game, viewers. And yeah, there's some weak monsters in here. So I'm looking at a map here, so hopefully we don't get lost. Now you want to go... Think? No, yeah. You want to go up here first. Oh, come on. Let's check these out. Uh, 11 gold there. 20 gold. 
Please, not an herb. Damn it. An herb. Okay, so now we just gotta get the heck out of here. Oh, come on. Wake up. Yeah, this is why you don't want to be fighting those guys in the previous episode, because, well, if they put you to sleep and you're, like, level 9, you're screwed. So I believe we just head down here. Yeah, we're going the right way. And here's a drow. And he runs away. Awesome. Use a key on that door. Come on. Kill him. Alright. Minimal experience. Wow, I do not remember this cave having this high of an encounter rate. Oh, come on. At least we're one-shotting them. Or not. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on. Yeah, you see how it dimmed a little bit? That's what Radiant does. You have to recast it. Well, you don't have to, but I want to. To help you guys out here. Go on these stairs and... Huh? That's all time I have for this episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior! Next episode, we will be finishing up Garen's Cave. This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!